Though it may seem very straightforward, shaking a hand can be very complex. Though it may have started as a way to check for weapons during peaceful meetings, shaking hands has become a necessity in order to get a job and make a good first impression. This video will go over some aspects of handshaking that you should know about in order to make the best first impression. The first aspect to consider is your hand placement. The place you position your hand is the difference between having your fingers crushed and ensuring that no matter how firm the grip is, you will not feel pain. The appropriate position is to make sure the arch between your thumb and your index finger meet the arch of the person whose hand you are shaking. This position ensures that they do not grip your fingers, but rather your hand, which reduces and will likely eliminate any pain. The next thing to keep in mind is body language. Body language says a lot about your confidence, and it is crucial in making a good first impression. Be sure to maintain eye contact, smile, and seem relaxed. The length of the handshake may vary, as may the speed, but a good length for a handshake is about 3 seconds and about 3 to 4 shakes. Now if you have sweaty palms due to nerves, it being warm, or whatever reason may arise, it is better to deal with that than go straight into the handshake. The method to do this is the same whether you are initiating the handshake or receiving it. All you have to do is quickly rub your palm against your pant leg before going into the shake. The other person will likely notice it, but they will either not care that you did it, or more likely, they will be glad that you were thoughtful about making sure the handshake was pleasant. Now, the firmness of a handshake varies based on whether you're shaking a man or a woman's hand. Etiquette dictates that when shaking a woman's hand, you match her firmness. When shaking a man's hand, however, you can either match his firmness or dictate this yourself. Now, a general rule of thumb is hard enough to show that you mean business and you're confident in your handshake, but not so hard it seems like you're trying to hurt the other person. Effectively utilizing these skills will definitely make a positive change in your handshaking. It's a lot to remember in the three seconds it takes to shake a hand, but with practice it'll become more natural. It's important to realize that your handshaking says a lot about you, and never think that your handshaking can not improve. Whether you're trying to get a job or start off a positive relationship, it's best to put your best hand forward. Okay. It doesn't have to be that one. Wow. That was more than three. <laughs> Okay, so I have to think about this. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs>